Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna connect the DC motor to the Raspberry Pi Pico, enable some code and let it run. Well, my name's Andrew and let's go ahead and jump into this. As we transition over to the wiring diagram, we're gonna need a battery source outside of the Pico. In this case, I'm using a 3.7 volt, but you could use three double A's. You could use a standard nine volt battery and that work as well. I just happen to have a 3.75 rechargeable battery laying around. The DC motor I have has no indication what is plus or minus, whatever the case may be. So in my testing, I didn't notice when a change if I were to switch these over. As we look at the code, all we're going to do is just import from time asleep so we know when to pause things or how long something might run. And then we're going to import our pin. So in this case, it's gonna be general purpose pin 18, and we're gonna name that as motor A. Along these tutorials, I'm planning to make an actual car. So I'm gonna define two functions. So there's gonna be motor run and then motor stop. Motor A value is gonna be zero for run, and then motor stop is gonna be value at one. This was the only portion that I didn't fully understand. Um, my initial thought was, hey, if it's value zero, it's not gonna run, but that's not the case as I was testing this. So as we execute this, we're gonna see that it's gonna go through, it's gonna stop for two seconds, then it's gonna run for five seconds, and then after that five seconds is over, it's gonna go ahead and stop. So my plan with this tutorial is to actually have a little tutorial series and have this grow. I did recently pick up a 3D printer, so I do want to pick up some parts and make an actual vehicle that will run. And I might transition this over to the Raspberry Pi Pico W and enable some online functionality. All right, guys, if you guys see any improvements or help me out, if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below and let's talk about it. My name's Andrew, and I'll see you at the next video.